We are interviewing Dr. Juan Morillo Montero, who is a retired general and non-cardiac thoracic surgeon and has founded the Montero Medical Missions in 2011. We're going to talk to him about this mission, its uh, goals, and its present projects. Welcome once again, Dr. Montero. Tell us about the uh, Montero Medical Missions. Well, uh, I've been uh, doing medical missions uh, since 1981 uh, with uh, uh, joining uh, fellow uh, Filipino-American uh, colleagues. Uh, and uh, my first uh, trip was uh, to uh, La Union in San Fernando. 1981, and from that experience, which I wrote, by the way, uh, uh, an article about that, uh, and, and it was published in Medical Economics in 1982, uh, the title was Where Plus Light Was Standard in the Operating in OR. So anyway, uh, I continued to do mission work and uh, a few countries around the world, and then 1995, I joined the uh, Physicians for Peace created Physician for Peace Philippines, and then uh, in July 2011, I thought it was time uh, that I pursue the dream that I have with, uh, with the late founder of Physician for Peace, that uh, we should recruit as many expatriate physicians and allied health professionals to go back home, which this country has so much uh, of, of, of us, uh, and that, uh, what, that's what I had in my mind. So eventually, uh, we formed the Montero Medical Missions, and uh, just as a little dis disclaimer, I was not really, uh, in, uh, you know, for the naming it, uh, my namesake, but I was outvoted, and, uh, but anyway, that's where it is now, and uh, MMM, at time for Montero Medical Missions, and sometimes we call it also, when we are doing mission work, as a memorable uh, medical or magic moments. So uh, uh, that's what we're doing now. We create sustainable projects. We combine the work of a medical missionary and that of the Peace Corps volunteer. As you know, the Peace Corps volunteers, uh, the two years uh, of their sojourn in those uh, developing and third world countries, they uh, uh, develop uh, uh, sustainable projects with the local people. And in the Philippines, I started it with the Physician for Peace in 1998. Uh, we involved uh, the uh, Rotarians and the Lions, and uh, sustainability was being assured. And up to now, that's what's going on there. And so, Montero Medical Missions has uh, also that those projects now uh, over there and soon in other countries, uh, like uh, in uh, uh, Mongolia, in uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and, uh, and uh, hopefully soon uh, Sri Lanka. And so uh, that's the way I, it has, uh, we, we are a very uh, uh, modest uh, financially uh, uh, organization, uh, uh, a fledgling organization, and uh, we continue just to do some fundraisers to keep us going. Uh, but uh, we have contact all over the country with doctors and uh, allied health professionals that we can always recruit anytime. And we, we emphasize on partnerships, uh, collaboration, uh, because we are a believer in the concept of the uh, team. Uh, together, everyone achieves more. Dr. Uh, Montero, so what do you remember most, the most memorable and, as you say, magical moments at the uh, Montero Medical Missions? We have so many occasions, difficult to pick one, but uh, when you do mission work and in front of you, there's somebody that is dying, uh, and uh, all of a sudden you were able to do something. Like when uh, we have mission in the Philippines, and uh, uh, we were given the despedida party uh, already that evening, and uh, uh, I was called uh, frantically uh, for, to go back to the operating room uh, because uh, um, uh, there was uh, uh, one of our patients that uh, we saw during the day uh, could not breathe anymore, and that he had that. Uh, uh, Pericancillar abscess uh, that we uh, we were taking uh, first giving antibiotics, IV, etc. But he got so worse that evening that we have to do something. And right away, me and uh, the anesthesiologist, uh, we went to the operating room and with the other uh, local surgeon, we uh, uh, put the patient to sleep, uh, uh, drain the abscess, 
and uh, intubated the patient, uh, and then uh, the, and then uh, uh, the following uh, couple of days, is, uh, he went home, and uh, that kind of thing is uh, so dramatic that uh, you know it could have uh, been a disaster. And uh, so that is one of the things 